The last 30 years represents an unprecedented period of political stability in Ghana. I think we can all agree on that. None of our previous efforts at multi-party democracy lasted anywhere near three decades. The 1969 and 1979 constitutions lasted approximately two and a half years, whereas <clears throat> multi-party democracy was removed altogether from the 1960 constitution only after four years. <clears throat> Thus, prior to the advent of the 1992 constitution, there was really no track record to suggest that the country could be democratic for this long. Moreover, there are very few examples of countries on our continent that have successfully returned to democracy and managed to stay and maintain the course. According to political scientists, democratic consolidation is said to have occurred when there are two turnovers from one political party to another. As things stand here in Ghana, we are well into the third turnover in the Fourth Republic. So clearly, we have done well, on this front at least. <laughs> Our elections have always been intense. On some occasions, the results have been contended by parties, but in general, the winners have been gracious and the um, losing sides have either accepted results or used constitutional means to challenge the results. With this, the positive reviews our democracy receives on the continent and beyond, we can say, are well deserved. It cannot be denied that on the whole, there has been improvement in Ghana's economic performance in the last 30 years of multi-party democracy as compared to the 30 years prior to 1993.